Good evening, guys. Uh, I managed to fix my laptop so it it uh, doesn't uh, drain a battery power while while on AC charger while gaming, of course, obviously. Previously, it will uh, it it will lose uh, five percent battery each hour of uh, a gameplay. In in average, it's uh, it's by design. It's that uh, hybrid power shit that that can be turned off, and uh, it has a non a detachable battery. So you, even if you remove it, you will get a reduced uh, performance because system will will then run in a power save mode, 30 fps and not beyond that. Uh, the graphic card in question is a GTX 1050 with, with 4 GHz of RAM. I also overclocked some. It's a Vera memory. It now now operates are at 8 GHz effectively. 4000 times 2 equals 8000 8, 8, DDR, of course. Processor is uh, Core i5 8250U, max TDP 15 watts. Uh, I also undervolted the uh, CPU a bit. As you can see, I turned off a turbo boost, a short power max because it's uh, it's only increased uh, a processor power consumption but soon uh, because this is laptop it will uh, go into thermal thermal problems and thermal throttling so this uh, disabled and enable uh, it uh, it's worse to get this uh, enabled uh, because of thermal throttling so in fact, but when I disable this, you, you will get a higher a, a average clock clocks because processor will run cooler and uh, will be able to uh, maintain its uh, boost clock for a uh, for longer time than uh, with Turbo Boost Short Power Max enabled. Also, I input here the 15 watts. Turbo boost power maximum, which is a TDP of my processor, and it's nice. Uh, so, Intel Extreme Utility. Uh, occasionally, when you reboot system, Intel Extreme Tuning will uh, fail to load your settings. So you you will go to Profiles, click uh, click your Profile that you saved, show values and and apply. Let me show you like this. Then then it will work. It's a it's a, a little hassle, I know, but what can you do? So let's check how the, how this system runs in Engine Valley. Okay, I don't need this anymore. That's it. I will run in windowed mode of, because I don't have external capture card and for it's easier for me this way because I don't have a required a technical a prerequisite. Let's do it. Run. As you can see, GPU holds stable clocks. 1772 MHz. 8 GHz effectively on VRAM. CPU is 
at maximum tool, uh, toolbar boss clock. So yeah, it's stable. I run it for for uh, six hours. No, no crashing or, no, or nothing. Playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, no crashing, no artifacts. And most importantly, the battery stays as unchanged. Battery level is not uh, not a decreasing. It's unchanged. I will let it run about two or three minutes. So you can see. I forgot to, to say you how to undervolt the GPU in the first place. As you can see, the core voltage, power limit, and temperature uh, are limit, uh, limit are all grayed out. They are uh, disabled for uh, laptops. And MSI Afterburner can't read uh, a GPU voltage, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But uh, GPU Z can, uh, as you can see. Voltage is 0 0.9120 millivolts. Okay, you will open MSI Afterburner and 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 press keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts only. Control F. Then you will modify this. You will uh, find this is a voltage. This is a clock. X axis is a voltage, y, y axis is a clock speed. You you will choose your desired operating voltage, which uh, I choose uh, between 900 and 925 millivolts. It's uh, it's uh, approximately 912 millivolts. Then you will uh, erase this dot to a desired speed and provided you get stable results it's okay then when you did that just apply first here then close frequency a curve editor and uh, you can save also at, at the profile section so that's it for today guys i hope this video will help subscribe to my channel and give a like if you if you like the video or a dislike if you don't see you next time bye